here. A couple of rows. How are you? You all right? Yeah. So, uh, it's gonna be. Yeah. You good? You good? Yep. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Your body language is like already like it. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> what's your name? Steve. Good on you, Steve. Who are you here with, Steve? You miss this? Good on you. And and have you learned her name yet or no? <laughs> Just the miso soup here. Um, good on you. And what's your name, madam? Melissa. Melissa. Good on you, Melissa. Steve. Melissa. How do, how long have you guys been together? Six years, shit, yeah. All right. Are you are you engaged? Yes. yes. Good. <laughs> Steve was so big. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Mel. Got you, babe. Pass that test. Well done. <laughs> and how did you meet? Did you meet on the? Yes. <laughs> did you? <laughs> Man, Steve. <laughs> Mel, you jumped in quickly because Steve was trying to think of a lie. <laughs> no. You met on Tinder. Great stuff. Great. We've got a couple here as well. Did you guys meet on the... <laughs> you met at a pub. See what they're doing, Steve? <laughs> Fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> what pub? What pub? Uh, I was in Emerald, Queensland. It was in Emerald in Queensland. Mm, I have no way of fact-checking this. <laughs> I love the apps. Right? I love them. I love them so much. They're all location-based. It's incredible. All the dating apps are location-based. We've gone from this idea of scouring the whole earth, trying to find our one true soulmate, to now we're just like, oh, if they're not in my postcode, I can't be fucked, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm horny and I'm lazy. I'm hazy. <laughs> and my erection doesn't like the outdoors. <laughs> we're about five years away from an app just called rootinmybuilding.com. <laughs> So nice to be here in Melbourne, a big city, because you guys heard that joke, rootedmybuilding.com, and you laughed. That's nice. Right, because two weeks ago, I did a gig in Hobart. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I said, rootedmybuilding.com, and they didn't laugh. They went, ooh. <laughs> and I'm not professional, so I just said into the microphone, I thought that was funny, but you guys didn't find that funny. And this guy in the middle of the crowd just goes, hey, it's Hobart, mate. <laughs> I said, yes? He goes, well, roots in my building, there's not that many uh, apartment blocks here. That would literally be us fucking people in our own family. <laughs> I was on the swipes recently, right? I, 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 I was on the swipes recently, and I was sitting on the toilet using my phone. Don't judge me, we've all done it, right? And, and so I was sitting there, and I was chatting with a girl, and we had good bands. That's what you call it, good bands, right? And I decided to send her my phone number. I did not expect her to call straight away. Yeah, but I had to accept it. This could be my one shot of true love. And once again, don't judge me, we've all done it. She's not gonna know, apart from a slight echo, I'm not gonna flush. I'm not gonna flush mid-sentence like a psychopath. So I answered, but then something strange happened. It said connecting. Yeah, that's really divided the crowd, hasn't it? Because a lot of the young people are like, oh! the older people are like, what happened? <laughs> I accidentally accepted a FaceTime on the shitter. <laughs> now, I know you have a mental image in your head of what I was wearing, but just in case it's incorrect, let me spell it out for you. T-shirt on top, nothing down below, shit everywhere. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm cool and calm under pressure. Because instead of hanging up, I chose instead to with a stand up and spin round, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I stood up and I spun around and her little face popped up on the screen and I went, hi, and she goes, oh my God. And I said, what? And she goes, the mirror behind you. <laughs> Don't worry. Again, very cool and calm under pressure. I simply hung up, blocked her number, deleted the app. <laughs> 